Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, it's me again, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you this Sunday, August the 14th, 2016. That makes this V-Blog number 953. Alright, I got some birthdays going out. I got one going out to Prince Anna, uh, or Prince Anne, uh, Belen, Belen Nueva. Yeah, Bella Nueva. And uh, Chris Laham, Lanaham, and um, also a name that I cannot pronounce, one of my foreign followers. Uh, so I'm just going to include that as you too. Alrighty. Alrighty. So a happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Prince Chris and you too. Happy Happy birthday to you, and many more. You know how I'd normally like to say, uh, uh, welcome to the Shen Show, and, uh, uh, and I'd say that I'm here from St. Charles, Missouri, home of the first state capital. Well, I was going to say that this today, but, uh, seems how the, uh, uh, Festival of the Little Hills is coming up. I should point out that I am Shenandoah Briscoe coming to you live from St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir, founded in 1769 as La Petite's Coats, which is French for the Little Hills, uh, by a French-Canadian fur tra trader named Louis Blanchet. The Spanish government controlled the Mississippi Valley between 1762 and 1800. And for a dozen years, the Little Hills became known as San Carlos Barbeo. In 1804, on the banks of the mighty Missouri River, Lewis and Clark met here to begin their westward expansion tour, also known as the Lewis and Clark Rendezvous, or this is the Lewis and Clark Rendezvous. All right, shortly thereafter, the city became known as St. Charles. So there you have it. That's a little bit of history on St. Charles, Missouri. All right. Hey, we got some upcoming events, so uh, stick around for that. What do we got? Oh, how about August the uh, 16th, which will be Tuesday, August the 16th. We got the food truck event going on down at Frontier Park. That's 500 South Riverside Drive. St. Charles, Missouri. Yes, sir, join us in front uh, in Frontier Park for this food truck event. Enjoy live entertainment as you indulge in a variety of delicious foods, uh, food options that will be available by several different food trucks. Hey, bring your family and friends to uh, for an outdoor relaxing concert and food and food and food and food in in the park so hey bring uh oh yeah keep in mind some of the trucks are cash base only so you might not want to bring credit card just bring cash watch your wallet of course on the count cash is cash credit is something else in addition uh it is re recommended that you bring your own lawn chair and uh blankets to sit on all righty hey uh, and then how about August uh, 17th, uh, we've got um, Music on Main, that's right, North Main Street, at 100 block of North Main Street. Um, every third Thursday, they have a concert, free concert, from 5 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. It's in the uh, north, it's in the 100 to 200 block. Of Main Street, bring lawn chairs and and uh, this outdoor free concert. Food and drinks will be available to purchase. Music on Main this uh, month. It's going to be the Trip Daddies. So come on down and join the show. All right, that'll be uh, yeah, that'll be Wednesday. So we got Tuesday and Wednesday knocked out, and then how about the Festival of the Little Hills? That's right, the Festival of the Little Hills starts on Friday, and uh, it'll be Friday, August 19th at 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., and then the event will 
pick up again at 9.30 a.m. and run to 10 10 o'clock p.m. And then August 21st, Sunday, it'll be at 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The event is the largest festival of the year. Activities include over 300 craft booths with some demonstrations by crafters and people, craftspeople and artisans. Also includes numerous foods and beverages booths, food and beverage booths along the live music, along with live music and other uh, entertainment. For information on shuttles and much, much more, go ahead and contact uh, the city of St. Charles, or actually the, uh, um, yeah, St. Charles City at 636-940-0095 for park event information. All righty then. Hey, you know what I feel like? I feel like I want to do. I feel like I want to sing. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sing uh, about the moon and the June and the spring. Uh. Actually, I'm going to sing something that on this morning when I was up this morning, this is how my day went. I was just in this one kind of a mood like this. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Daddy wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Mommy wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Brother wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Sister wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Baby wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. All the family wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Oh, yeah. Because, well, I never got my sunshine today. So. Yeah, never got any sunshine today, so. I had overcast all day. I didn't even get to have my other great song. I got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. I guess you'd say. What it takes to make me feel this way Is my girl, my girl Talking about my girl ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, see, no, no sunshine I didn't feel it, wasn't having it, didn't get it Let's see, what else? Oh, oh, that's what I had that's what I had. Yeah, I'll just change this one up a little bit. I was blue, just as blue as I could be. Every day was a cloudy day for me. Then good luck came knocking at my door. And the skies weren't near blue anymore. Blake gray skies. Smiling at me, nothing but gray skies did I see. A blue bird singing a song, nothing but blue birds all day long. Crying in their nest, they were so fine. They never did nothing but cry and cry. 
blue birds unhappy like me nothing but gray skies did we see never saw the sun not even shining as bright cause the blue sky the gray skies were covering the clouds were inside I said gray skies shining on me nothing but gray skies did I see billowing clouds dark as they may be all the time Gray skies shining on me. Okay. So I had to change it up a little bit, but hey, it works for me. Oh, I got one more. Let's do one more. Well, the sun didn't shine. It's been a rotten day. The clouds were among us. And they didn't let me go out and play. I got the gray sky blues. The rainy coming down on you. I said the sun didn't shine. It felt rainy all day. It never did rain. And the temperature never got above 72. Oh, it was bad, bad, bad. I got the gray sky blues. Hey, I can make them up. What the hey? I can change them up. I can make them up. I can do what I may. Because, well, that's my blog, and I can blog today. All right. Hey, looks like it's about time for our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you the devotional. I will not read you the devotional because if I read you the devotional, I will be in breach of a contract of the copyright laws. So I will tell you what the devotional is. And if you would like to know what the, uh, um, if you would like to know what, the storyline behind the devotional is, then I suggest you drop on over to odb.org, our daily bread, and log in, subscribe, sign in, subscribe to it, give a little donation, and read yourself further on what the today's topic was. Anyway, the devotional title is Your Father Knows. And whose father knows? Your father knows. My father knows. My father God knows more than my father, my my own father knows. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to read for you today Matthew six, twenty-five through 34. And if you're keeping up with your Bible in the year, then you'll be reading Psalms 80 through 90. Whoa. Is that right? Psalms 89 through 90, and Romans 14. All right. Well, all righty then. Here we go. We're going to be reading Matthew 6, 25 through 34. For this reason I say to you, do not be worried about your life as to what you will eat or what you will drink nor for your body as to what you will put on. It is, is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air that they do not sow nor reap nor gather nor into barns and yet the Heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not uh, worth much more than they are? And... Who of you, by being worried, can add a single hour to his life? And is this get rid of that stupid thing? Sorry. And who of you, by worry, can add a single hour to his life? And why are you worried? 
about and wh and why are you worried about clothing? Observe how the lilies of the field grow. They do not toil, nor do they spin. Yet I say to the to you that not even Solomon in all his glory has clothes clothed himself like one of these. But if God so clothed the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow, is thrown into the furnace, will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith, do not worry then, saying, What will I eat? Will we eat? Or what will we drink? Or what will we wear for clothing? For the Gentiles eagerly seek all these things. For your heavenly Father knows best, knows that you need all these things. But seek first in his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these will be added to you. So, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So there you have it. Matthew six twenty five through thirty four. Great words to live by. I live by them myself all the time. I never worry about anything because hey, why what's the point, you know? God's got me on his side, so why worry about anything else? Anyway, hey, um uh, that looks like the end of our program, so Goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I said goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. This is Shenandoah Briscoe saying thank you for tuning in to the Shen, Sh Shen Show. You know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed in Jesus' name and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, I'll be here. And I hope you are too.